This is a brief, simple tutorial on the setup process for Inature Technologies LTL Freight Quotes plugin for WooCommerce. At the conclusion of the tutorial will be a brief demonstration of LTL Freight Quotes being presented on the cart and checkout pages. This video will touch on the most basic steps required to have LTL Freight Quotes presented during checkout. I'll use the ABF version of the LTL Freight Quotes plugin as a proxy simply because it appears first, alphabetically, in Inature's portfolio of WooCommerce plugins for LTL Freight. The steps required to set up all versions of Inature Technologies LTL Freight Quotes plugins are nearly identical. This video is not a substitute for the user's guide, which is located on the Documentations tab of the Product Information page at Inature.com. Navigate to Products and pick WooCommerce out of the list. Click on the product badge for the plugin that you want to install. Select a subscription plan. For the purpose of the tutorial, we're going to start with a free trial. If you're not an existing customer, choose the Create Account link. Fill out the form and then click Submit. If you start with a free trial, you'll receive an email with a link that you must click on to confirm your email address. Afterward, or if you started with a paid plan, you can go to Inature.com and log into the licensing portal. There you'll see your plugin license key. Use the navigation menu on the left hand side and click Downloads. Click the Download Code link to download the installation file. After you download the plugin installation file, use the WordPress admin menu to navigate to Plugins, Add New Plugin. Click the Upload Plugin button. Choose the plugin installation file and then click the Install Now button. Afterward, locate the plugin in your list of installed plugins and click the Activate link. You can also install the plugin from the WordPress plugin directory. To do so, instead of clicking the Upload Plugin button, search for the plugin by name and then click the Install Now button. You'll still need to follow the steps to obtain the plugin license key. Now obtain the API credentials you'll need to connect the plugin to your shipping account. How to do so is different for every shipping provider, so refer to the plugin's user's guide for specific instructions. After you have the API credentials for your shipping provider, it's time to begin configuring the plugin so LTL Freight Quotes will be presented on the cart and checkout pages. Use the WordPress admin menu to navigate to WooCommerce and Settings. Click on the tab for the plugin. Next, click on Connection Settings in the Plugins Navigation menu. This is where you'll connect the plugin to your shipping account. Refer to the User's Guide for specific instructions on what's required for this page. In general, you'll enter the credentials you obtained for your account with the shipping provider and the plugin license key. Afterwards, click the Save Changes button and then the Test Connection button. You should see an alert informing you that the connection was successful. If not, you need to rectify this before continuing. Next, click on the Quote Settings link. The Quote Settings page covers the behavior of the plugin. There are a lot of options here, and you'll want to return to this page with the user's guide in hand to fully explore all of the options that are available to you. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to keep it pretty simple. Accept all of the defaults, but scroll down to the Liftgate Delivery settings and enable Offer Liftgate Delivery as an option. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. Next, click the link for Warehouses. The plugin supports a couple of different concepts for shipping origins. For the purpose of the tutorial, we're going to add a warehouse. Click on the Add button. Enter a zip code for the warehouse. The city and state should pre-populate, but you can manually override this if needed. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. Now we need to add the plugin to a shipping zone. Navigate to WooCommerce Settings. Choose the tab for Shipping. Locate and choose to add your shipping zone. Click on the Add Shipping Method button. Select the plugin and click Continue. Enable the plugin for the shipping zone. 
Now we're ready to enter the product shipping parameters for a product. Using the WordPress admin menu, hover over products and select all products. Choose to edit a product in your product catalog. Scroll down and access the shipping settings for the product. Make sure that you have a weight entered, that the shipping class is LTL Freight, and that you have a freight classification. If you don't know the freight class of your product, select 50. You can always return to this page to correct it later. Afterwards, click the Update button. Now we're ready to see that the plugin will return shipping quotes on the cart and checkout pages. View the product on the front end of the website. Add the product to the cart. Enter a ship to address. The plugin will return options for LTL Freight. In this case, we have an option for standard LTL Freight to a commercial address, and the same option, but this time with Liftgate Delivery. Now you can enter the checkout process. Enter the shipping details. As long as nothing else has changed, the quotes that you saw on the cart page will remain constant. This concludes the tutorial on how to set up the LTL Freight Quotes plugin for WooCommerce and a brief demonstration of LTL Freight Quotes appearing on the cart and checkout pages.